back, back. with some holiday <laughs> reactions. Oh, the heat just shut off. Got really quiet. Anyway, I first joined this as a Patreon request. Queen of the Reich live in Tokyo. All right. From Queen's Reich. All this right. is the same concert as Take Hold of the Flame. Oh, fuck yeah. So, here we go. I'm expecting greatness. We all are. It's very loud. Here we go. Is this their first album? First or second? Bass just sounds different. The drums sound really good. weird listening not weird but this is obviously very different from the other stuff we've been doing yeah. from empire and mm -hmm. operation mind crime yeah this is more of a people have been saying it's more like iron maiden and uh, i might need our video freeze uh... our video froze hold on froze hold on Everything just everything just everything. We're dead. We dead. We dead. Hold on a me, dear. Hold on a me, dear. <laughs> what the heck? There we go. We're back. <laughs> We're back. See? Would you? Anyway. Uh, yeah, it's very different. People have been saying it's like Iron Maiden y, and I can kind of see that after hearing the number of the beast. It's different from there. Iron Maiden is at the same time as this is right now. It was slightly right. before, yeah. Okay. Well, I dig this more than their newer stuff, their really? later stuff. Hmm. That's because you haven't listened to Operation Minecraft. Get your finger on my freaks. No. I thought I did. You heard a couple I, songs. I don't care. I prefer this. Like, right, li listen right. to his voice. It's so fresh. It's so high. It's so beautiful. It's everything, it's, everything, and everything. And it's also a tasty guitar riff. Oh, but, Lord. All right. In those drums, in the bass, yeah. It's all great so far. We're not doing so well. This is inconvenient. I don't know if I've ever heard drums sound that good live. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the 
hard to do. listen to Queen's Rake solos all day every day. They just always incorporate the dual guitars so well. I want to listen to this whole album. This one? The whole thing? You, I know, mm -hmm. I hate doing that, but this one I want. I need all it. Alright, we'll bookmark it one day. You heard it here first. Cassandra wants to listen to a whole <laughs> album in a progressive-ish middle album at that. Yeah, less progressive metal at this time, but that's okay. Yeah, um, everything about that. I kind of like, that might be one of the better songs. This little dog. Excuse the puppy bark. Jesus Christ. He's so demanding. He's during the music. I'm trying. Um, yeah, this might be one of their better songs, honestly. It's not as polished, doesn't sound as polished as the later stuff, but. I like that about it. Yeah, the Ronnie's does have a good And it almost sound. doesn't sound like the same group. It doesn't. That's what I was thinking several times. That they don't look the same either. Like nothing about it seems the same, but it's very cool that they could transition from this style to the style that they ended up doing the progressive. I love that though. Like they are so energetic, pumped up, ready to go, and they sound phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And that was probably the, one of the last songs because clearly they walked mm -hmm. off the stage after. Yeah, I don't know. Insanity, this band, was. Apparently, they got a little worse after one of the guitars, Chris, left, is what everyone's been saying in all our videos, but... Let's... What song? What song specifically? You know, give us a song after he left, but it's still good, but, uh... So we can get prepared for that. Apparently, he wrote a lot of their songs, too, so... Hold up. Yeah. Who is this guy? That's him now, the singer. No way. You know? No. Yeah. That looks... No. <laughs> I read somewhere that... That's not him. People consider him a, a caricature. Is that the word? You know those paintings that... Or the drawings that like make you look... A character? Yeah. He's a character of himself. <laughs> of himself in the 80s or something like... He's oh. like a parody of himself or something. Wow. That... 
Interesting. Yeah. And Queensryche has a new singer. Well, he's not new anymore. Oh, God. I need to hear singer. this. We need to hear this. And does this guy, new does album. Jeff, does he still sing? Yes, he has a band called Operation Mindcrime. Shut up. Mm-hmm. You're kidding. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, this there, is getting good. Apparently, there was one year where Queensryche and Jeff Tate had the license to Queensryche, so they released two albums the same year. One was his band, and one was oh actual Queensryche. Oh my Queens god, Rake. why are we not listening <laughs> to this? They have a lot of albums. Oh so my god, do it, do it now. Maybe we should just do a reaction to Rise and Fall of Queensryche one day. Oh right my here. lord. Yeah. yeah, anyway, a lot to uncover in this video. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let us know what you thought of the song. And uh, give us a song without Chris singing the album. I mean, without Chris in it. How about even without this Jeff guy then? Or I didn't know they, they went just on without released a new him. album. Oh like last God. week or something. A couple weeks ago. Mm. Maybe we should do a reaction to that. Next All right. Time. Next time we'll do a reaction to one of their new songs. But thank you for watching. If this is your first time here, Welcome. subscribe. We have a, a few Queensryche reactions. We have full Operation Mind Crime reaction by me on Patreon in the description. And she wants to do a whole album reaction to, I think, The Warning. The Warning, yeah, that's what it's called. So, be on the lookout for that. We'll let you know when it's coming. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe for that, for sure. Anyway, we'll see you in our next video. Goodbye.